Hero Governor New York's Andrew Cuomo um, in his press briefing yesterday got an interesting question and had a very interesting response. Let's take a listen. Is there a fundamental right to work if the government can't get me the money when I need it? Is there yeah, a you fundamental want to go, right, right you want to, go to, to work? work? Go take the job as an essential worker. Do it tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just do that. I'll put my life on the line, <laughs> on for, the line. for $8 yeah. an hour with, and no benefits. That's exactly no what I'm going to do. No benefits, no certainty, probably this, no PPE. This but, makes me so angry because, again, it's like the government is the one who put these people out of work, which means the government's job is to guarantee their salary mm -hmm. or at least guarantee their well-being in some form. Now, look, we can have a debate about how we should administer that, but that's a disgrace. That's like pull yourself up by your bootstrap. Like, you want to go to work this is uh, that's outrageous to the millions of new yorkers who are out of a job in his own state right responsible for administering unemployment we covered the story here of a woman who had to call 800 times in order to file for unemployment what should she, she do she just go get a job at a girl what if she's immunocompromised what about then what if she has a health condition what you know i, I, I go got, on and on and on i got maybe more not more but i got a lot of pushback for daring to criticize Andrew Cuomo on this mm -hmm. show because Democrats and the media are so in love with him right now because of his press briefings and the aura of whatever that he leadership that he's able to put out. And it's exactly because I know that this is his mentality based on the way that he has governed for years that I do not have that same level of love for Andrew Cuomo. And even putting that aside, as we've covered here, it's not like his actual response, aside from the press conference aura, has been that great. There's a reason why New York has been so hard hit. Yes. And in part of that reason, look, part of it is factors that he has no control over, let's be clear. Part of it is because of his response and de Blasio's response, which were slower exactly. than other states, which were like earlier California. hit, like yeah. California and San Washington, and, right, yeah. which have done much, much better. So let's put that out there. But you know, the um, the, the woman there asking the question, she, she asks what is supposed to be like an unaskable question. Right. You're not putting out into the conversation that, hey, maybe I have a right to be able to earn a living, and maybe you're supposed to be part of securing that right, it's not surprising to me that he kind of goes off on that because yeah. you're not even allowed to sort of conceive of that or think that that could be part of his responsibility or part of a citizen's relationship to the government. I talk a lot about this in my radar today, and it's about the choice, you know, how we made a choice for all of this to happen. But I thought that that clip is so revealing because you have the governor of you know one of the richest states in the country at the epicenter of the outbreak. Millions of his own constituents who are out of work. And he's like, you wanna go to work? Go get a job as an essential worker. As in, there is no contract between us where I put you out of work. I, he, look, the federal government didn't issue a stay-at-home order. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo did. Now, look, the feds have the purse strings, and they're the ones who should give out that money. Yeah. Do you see Cuomo fighting super hard in order to make sure that these wages are getting out there? I don't. I, I just see that. a guy with a slideshow talking about things are getting worse. Things will be okay. Everything will be fine. Doing interviews with his multimillionaire brother on a CNN primetime show. That's all I see. It's a bunch of, like— it's like cosplaying commander in chief, mm -hmm. you know, like being, I'm super in charge without any of the attendant responsibility between you and your constituents. And that's what made me so mad. Which made mad him a perfect about media that hero. That's exactly why they love him. Yeah, he's like, oh, well, you want to go to work? Be innocent. Like the pugnacious New Yorker. Well, and it's here's like, the thing like, these are obviously extraordinary circumstances where, yeah, if you are working and dealing with human beings on a daily basis in any capacity, you are on the front lines, you are at risk, your family is at risk. All of that is true, and we owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to all the people who are going out and doing that, and oftentimes for very low pay. I mean, one of the stats that came out is how many of these essential jobs are um, women are yeah. working in these jobs, women, of course, disproportionately in lower income jobs, disproportionately in caring professions, but it doesn't just expose an attitude about today. It fundamentally exposes a philosophy that we see the consequences of playing out across the country. Basically, what he's saying to her is you can starve or you can go and literally risk your life. Those are yeah, your choices. Right. And 
Not on for that, for not level, that much money. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah. on some level, those are the choices facing the working class every day. I mean, what do we talk about here? Disproportionately military service. Who serves in our military? Yeah. Disproportionately oh. working class. Overwhelmingly oh, working class who fight and die in our wars overseas. Okay? You look at the health statistics whose life expectancy is cut short. I mean, you look at the poorest parts of the country and their life expectancy is so much shorter and you look by class and you look by race and you see the way that being less affluent in this country literally affects your health and your lifespan. I mean, that is the fundamental choice that is offered to workers literally every day in this country. It's just even more dramatized and more extreme and more outrageous when you're talking about just go and be an essential worker during a pandemic. Right. This the multimillionaire scion of a political family telling his out of work constituents, go work in an essential worker at a grocery store if you want to go to work. My Meanwhile, hero. his brother is prospecting um, in East Hampton, which we uh, <laughs> real brought you there. I'm sure they'll be partying there in a couple of years. It'll be a great time. I hope I get invited. All right. More rising for you after this.